What's good, people? Uncle Hotep back at it again. How y'all doing? Hell dog. She went to went to India, getting paid, getting that cheddar, getting that, that cheese. You know, uh, she was some Indian conference uh, over in India. You know, uh, she's still very much in the business world. You know, with the Clinton Foundation. <laughs> But you know that I think they, you know, a lot of people do when they, they retire, or right? like they're done with office, they do on sp speaking tours, like Obama. I think Obama's getting like thirty grand a pop. I bet you Hillary gets more. But anyway, people are up on arms. What she said, you know, she, she, not, you know, everybody remember the, you know, the election season, and she popped off deplorables and. You know, that's, that's, that, that erupted. Everybody was mad. But she has more to talk about these same deplorables. Let's, let's listen. If you look at the map of the United States, there's all that red in the middle where Trump won. I win the coast. I win. Pennsylvania in the middle. Ohio in the middle. <laughs> Is she serious? North Carolina in the middle. That's the coast, isn't it? You do, or are you just talking the West Coast, Hillary? Is that what you're talking about? <laughs> you know, Illinois and Minnesota, places like that. But what the map doesn't show you is that I won the places that represent two-thirds of America's gross domestic product. I mean, well, if you win California, then <laughs> you're going to, um, that's going to be it. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, what, what, <laughs> you know what I mean? California's the biggest economy in the United States, and you won that. We all know why. I mean, if you don't, if you didn't run, if you ran on the same platform uh, as immigration that the, the, the people want, then you wouldn't have won, won that. <laughs> Come on, Hillary. So, I won the places that are optimistic, diverse, dynamic, moving forward. I hate diverse is just like used as this catch-all. Like diverse is like, you know, it's automatically the best thing since sliced bread. You know, um, it's, 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 it's crazy. You know, and this is how the globalist, <laughs> the one earthers, I, I, <laughs> I asked the people on Twitter, like, can we come up with a new word besides globalist? And some people did, oh, no, we don't want to change it. I say you do the opposite. You should start making up names, making up new stuff. Like I say elves just, and have it catch on. They never know. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta stick and move, man. You, you gotta say, understand you're on the defense. You're on the defense, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I mean? Until it's time to go on offense, you gotta you got bob and weave and stuff like that, man. So you know what I mean? They if they call it, they want you if they do the same with globalists, you know, one earthers, you one earthers, <laughs> you global governments, <laughs> you one earth governments. <laughs> oh my goodness. And his whole campaign, Make America Great Again was looking backwards you know you didn't like black people getting rights you don't like women you know getting jobs you don't want to you know see that indian american succeeding more than you are whatever your problem is i'm gonna solve it that's crazy and that's crazy you can go to another country and just <laughs> and just uh make things up like that um <laughs> you know I think he Trump won. Let's be honest here. Trump won because of his immigration policy. You know, everything being equal. I think the immigration policy was what put everything over. And, you know, people are tired of it. I mean, it's like, I don't know. I noticed this, like, I want to say, <clears throat> damn near 20 years ago, I was like, man, this, what is going on here, man? <laughs> like, everybody, you know, letting these guys come over here like that. You know, and I knew the jig. I was like, the, these companies are just hiring them for cheaper labor. You know what I mean? So either you want to work at their cheaper labor or you ain't going to work. 
and they're going to work harder in worse conditions. You, you, you don't understand. The average illegal immigrant worker that has that has any type of skills or or work ethic, he's going to work harder than the average American just from the, the, um, the environment they came from. It, it's a piece of cake to them. It's like you hear stories about people getting locked up in like El Salvador, then then they come over here and get locked up. They're like, oh, I don't, I don't mind American jails. It's a piece of cake. You know what I'm saying? It's the same thing. It's the same thing. Hillary won't go away. <laughs> what a joke. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, and like, and she's acting like the middle of America doesn't count. Like, just because you won California, it's supposed to go the way you want it to. Like, middle America, north, you know what I mean, Pennsylvania, Ohio, they don't count. Like, are you a joke? Come on, Hillary. <laughs> just, just stop it. <laughs> anyway, this is Uncle Hotep. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.